Hey dolls, it's me. I'm coming to you from my bathroom. This video is all about personal hygiene. I am taking you where no man has gone before, which is in the bathroom with me when I'm getting ready right from out of the shower. Um, of course, I took a moment to clothe myself, but other than that, it's a pretty revealing video as far as what my regular routine is. So if you're interested in finding out how to keep yourself in tip-top clean hygiene, uh, then keep on watching this video. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I get out of the shower, well, let me tell you what I do when I'm in the shower. After I wash my hair, I always bring in one of these clips. That way I can tie my hair up and dry my body off without getting hair all over me. So after my body's dry, before I get out of the shower, what I do is just take a towel and squeeze dry my hair, squeeze a little bit of water out from the roots, and because my hair is curly, I have to squeeze it. I can't kind of rub the towel together quickly because that will make my hair frizzy. And then I just put it up in a clip. The next thing I do is I apply body lotion. So I've already applied body lotion to the parts of me where the sun don't shine. And then the rest of me I left without lotion so that I can show you. So I'm going to show you how I lotion up my arms. It's pretty standard, but I suppose everybody has a different way of doing it. Okay, so the type of lotion that I'm using is just regular old um, like moisturizing lotion. I just do lotion. a couple pumps, rub it between my hands, and then rub it on my arms making sure to get my elbows and all the way up to my shoulder. And then I repeat on the other side. Okay, so now we're down at the legs. And just that you guys aren't shocked, I just have on really short shorts. Um, so I always wear slippers when I'm in the bathroom, um, just so that when I lotion up my legs and then the heels of my feet, nothing around the bathroom sticks to my feet. I also lotion the top of my feet and then lotion the rest of the leg. And then I repeat on the other side. My body's all lotioned. I take a body splash and spray that on my body. And this is Bath and Body Works in Mango Mandarin. And the reason that you want to do this on your body um, after you've put on lotion is because um, this stuff sticks to moisturized skin. So you'll want to put your body lotion on first and then put this on. Um, I also put on perfume, you know, after I'm all dressed and everything. But this kind of leaves like a nice soft lingering scent. Okay, so after all of that lotioning and body spray is done, I put on deodorant. Um, you can either put on deodorant uh, after you've put your clothes on, but sometimes that's a little bit of a risky move because you may forget to put the deodorant on. Um, so I just like to put it on after I've taken a shower and then that way um, I won't forget. So after that, um, I like to clean my ears, so I use a Q-tip and get right in there, but of course you don't want to go in too far. Alright, okay, now you're getting down low with me. So I've got my toothbrush, and I just like to wet my toothbrush a little bit and put toothpaste on it. Um, there are obviously a lot of different toothpastes on the market. Um, just use the toothpaste that is the best one that you can afford in your price range that um, gives you the look that you're going for. So I'm just using Aqua Fresh uh, with fluoride protection. And now I'm going to brush my teeth. I like to brush the back. And then the front. And then the lower part. After you've given a good rinse, you want to go back and do that again, but make sure that you brush the back of your teeth. Now, after you've brushed your teeth, you want to brush your tongue. Don't put the toothbrush too far down or else you'll gag a little bit, but just clean the tongue and you'll see all the stuff on your tongue coming off. I know you didn't think that we were not going to do this. Flossing. You have to floss your teeth. It's so important for your gums um, as well as getting rid of plaque in between your teeth. Hands down, the single best floss that's on the market that I've ever used 
is Crest Glide. Okay, for all those people that don't want to floss their teeth because their gums bleed, it hurts, Crest Glide, my gums never bleed with this floss. Now, they bleed a little bit, um, but not the way that they bleed with regular floss. So, so you just break off a little bit of floss, wrap it around your fingers, and then start from the back all the way to the front, getting right in between your teeth. And don't push the floss down too hard. Just let it go right in between your teeth. And then after I floss my teeth, I like to rinse with mouth mouthwash. I'm using Listerine Fresh First. And because I'm the only one that uses this, I just drink right out of the bottle. Okay, now that we're all done with the teeth, um, what I'm going to do is put toner on my face. Now this is from the Body Shop. It's Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner. And it has like a little settlement on the bottom, so I just shake it up. And I actually heard about this from Holly Annery, I think is the name of the person on YouTube. Um, she suggested this, and I've gone out and got it. And you want to put it on a cotton round. Don't use toilet paper. Get, uh, you know, cotton balls or cotton rounds. I put toner all the way down to my neck because dirt and grime gets on there too. And then I put it right on my forehead and on the sides of my nose and of course around my mouth. And if you ever break out with zits around your mouth, nine times out of ten it's because you didn't wipe the um, toothpaste. Uh, good enough or rinse it good enough and if you break out along your jawline like I am right now it's typically hormonal it's either that time of the month or in my case I'm um, dieting and exercising so my body's kind of going crazy uh, so I like to do a spot treatment on that and I just use clean and clear acne spot treatment on all of my blemishes and then now I'm going to use face lotion. Um, I got a facial, and if you watch my video, Benefits of Getting a Facial, you'll find out that I have um, combination skin. So I have Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer made for combination skin. I do two little pumps of that, rub it in between my hands, and then put that along my face and jawline. And that's all for the face. And the last, but maybe most important, hygiene-related thing I do is I blow my nose. How many people do you see with boogers in their nose? And it's not one of those things that you can just tell people, like, hey, you have a snot. Because you're embarrassed for them, and then you don't want to see them trying to get the snot out. Um, I periodically throughout the day check my nose and make sure I don't have snots. Um, so, but... I start my day off by blowing my nose, so I know at least when I leave the house, I did not leave with any boogers. And, yeah, I think I'm still clear. So that's the last hygiene-related thing I do. Then I start doing my hair. So my hair has been nice and wet in this little kind of twist that I did. And I just detangle my hair. And I always start from the tips. And then I work my way up. And once I'm done detangling, then I can start getting ready. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, it was really a glimpse into the unseen world of many people. You never know how people get ready, what their hygiene routine is, how some people are so clean, and how some people are so funky. So that is my routine. Um, if you have any tips or anything you want to share, anything that you thought was weird, gross, didn't know about, wouldn't recommend, would recommend, um, definitely leave it in the comments. And uh, if you liked this video, or at least liked my bravery, then hit the thumbs up. Alright guys, take care. Bye.